Hello everyone, Daryl here, and what you're looking at is for the uh, Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro, this is basically what defines the Pro package. A counterweight with counterweight extension arm onto which is mounted a dovetail plate for mounting the arm to the face of the Star Tracker and topped off with essentially a declination platform. They call it the fine tuning assembly. But uh, it's kind of funny to me that they call this the Pro Package because if it were truly Pro, then the declination platform, which is you know a key positioning feature for a camera or your imaging train, um, it's always nice to be able to know where you position things at. And yet, that platform had no index scale in it or on it. And as you see, it does now. Around the face, I had I measured the diameter of the uh, platform multiplied by pi for a length that I needed. And in Photoshop, I created this graduated scale with markings at 90 degrees facing forward for north and then going back in either direction in 10 degree increments descending away towards zero at the equator east and west and glued that on and it has worked very well for the purpose. Now I've kind of gone overboard because I've since added when I learned of one a Westcott three and a half inch protractor that sandwiches very ne neatly between the platform and my Arca Swiss clamp there which itself is a low profile panoramic base so it's got indexing built into it such that I could actually use that but that means uh, rotating uh, and loosening you know these slightly smaller knobs of the clamp that are more recessed and overall I just found that with everything mounted on the clamp it's actually still friendlier to use the larger knobs so I actually do favor using my homemade scale over the other options there so with that in mind I recently bought a Astrotech AT125 EDL telescope and it has a nice uh, two inch focusing rail and built in camera angle adapter and true to form these manufacturers being cheap and leaving off indexing the camera angle rotator was bare and I'm like I'm sorry but if I want to you know repeat my camera angle precisely you know from one shoot to another I'd like to know where it's at and not have to rely upon plate solutions to, t to tell me what angle it was so, taking the approach from what I did for the uh, Star Adventure Pro, I've now, as you can see, made a scale for my telescope. Pretty much the same exact idea. And if you're wanting to, if you like this idea, I will provide a link in the description for the video from which you can download this uh, camera angle scale from my Google Drive. And the particulars you need to know will be uh, included along with it and how to mount it. But just to go over those details, what you'd want to do is measure the diameter of your rotator wherever you're going to, going to be affixing this scale. Multiply by pi to get your the total length, the circumference needed for a 360 degree scale. In my case, that was a 75 77 millimeter approximately diameter that yielded a 242 millimeter circumference and hence scale length and then the thickness of the rotator across from above the knurled ring there to the other edge was almost nine millimeters so I sized my scale at eight millimeters so it would just nestle in there cleanly and I mean it looks almost like a manufactured scale not quite I mean we've got some bare white there along the edge but um, what you want to do is print that out I strongly recommend printing on glossy finished photo paper it will have the highest legibility and crispest crispest most crisp uh, text over I think luster or pearl or even matte finishes but you know that's your choice and if you have it, what I really recommend as the best choice, as I've done here, is a metallic finish photo paper. Uh, it's, the, it's just a really nice high contrast, snappy, sharp 
uh, media for printing on for especially for purposes like this I might could have uh, printed this to a resolution of having one degree uh, gradations on the scale but I felt like sticking with two would just be a little bit more readable and it's easy given their width there you can still very easily estimate to a one degree accuracy between them and of course it's not going to be a absolutely accurate scale I don't think but it's going to be very close and that's really all you need is something that gets you pretty darn close to where you want to be if not exactly you know pinpoint on the money um, so once you print it on a sheet of paper you want to lay that down a flat surface and I recommend just uh, laminating it with something such as you know clear packaging tape or other similar products and then what I used was some glue, a glue stick I turned it over and ran a layer of glue along the back side and then laid it down and wrapped it around the rotator and positioned it and once it was positioned I taped off the back ends with tape as I just implied by that comment so you can see there just some cellophane tape I just uh, use that to secure the loose ends now before mounting it one thing you'd want to do is of course make sure you got everything squared and level you know where the center line is and what I did was although it's now hidden by the uh, scale I marked the scale according to the center line so that when I was placing the scale down over the ring I just lined up the 0360 mark over the reference point before wrapping it around and taping it into place now assuming most rotators are of a similar design where the, you have a uh, thumb screw what you want to do there also I did not I'll admit but it would be helpful to actually mark um, you know the focusing tube if you can or if you've got any if the if the ring is attached to something and you can mark that even temporarily with something you'd want to mark where the thumb screw is at so that once you've got the scale in place you could take a nail or an ice pick and punch a hole through the scale clean that out clean the remnants out uh, with like a sharp exacto knife tip or something and uh, get it to where you can screw the thumb screw back in and you're good to go uh, so another do-it-yourself mod that I think yields a significant uh, user-friendly improvement and uh, again if you like that idea why well, Feel free to download the file, modify it if you so wish. Um, um, there's no restrictions from my perspective on how anyone uses that or modifies it. I wish you great nights and clear skies. Happy shooting.